Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's give a big round of applause for our first heat. We've got Jake Dingle and Glenn Gillam on stage. Give a round of applause, please, St Kilda, Melbourne. Athletes ready? Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Alright, and they're off. First cut looking for a nice, clean cookie cut, Dan. Oh, it's Gillam that is slightly ahead there, going, of course... Oh, nice. Now, what they're going to be looking to do here is a clockwise motion. That they're going to look to put in between, it's going to be like eight to, t uh, to ten hits in the front, and they're going to flip to the backside and then put the drivers in, which, of course, is the big, powerful straight one down. Dingle on the turn first there, but uh, Gillum, you can absolutely never count there him out. Is. There you go. Ford there taking it the is. Lead. He's so strong on the choppy events. Now, of course, this one is the one that hurts. This one, they call this the misery rib. It's a bit loosely called. This one really hurts the guts. You cause your arms and there's a bit, a bit of pain and, and obviously the swelling that goes in the forearms. And now you've got to really, really dig deep here. As you can see, I'm working through the middle section. Gillum has a comfortable look lead. At Gillum, He's look at look at that. No hang-ups there. He's absolutely sliced through that like a hot knife through butter. And this, of course, is his, is his strongest one. He's going to be looking to preserve energy throughout the day. He's going to look to put those a lot of work in the front side, and then he's going to flip over to the back, put those drivers in, get a really, really solid time. You can see up the time, guys, in the top right-hand and left-hand corners of the stage. He's putting... He's going Feel to put free the to cheer him home, ladies and gents. There it is. Wang Bang, thank you, ma'am. One minute, 12.62, yep. unofficially. And, and Dan, unofficially, that is a PB, of course, for him. Let's make some noise, of course. Let's get behind Jake Dingle. He's going to look to finish off. He wants to put a good time in here. Here it goes. There it is. 128.05, unofficial. Those unofficial times do tend to come down, guys. Both cuts were good. There, there it go. is, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's fire things up. Let's give him a big St Kilda Melbourne round of applause. Make some noise for Lawrence O'Toole and Brad DeLosa. Here we go. They both hit the wood first. Probably Delosa with a slight lead there. Going to look to put a nice, clean cookie. Who's will drop first? Oh, it's O'Toole that slightly catches up. They're both very, very quick between the disciplines. As Lawrence we sort of spoke about. the wood first there. Yep. So you, you see, as we spoke about, that clockwise motion. He's, he's actually going in an anti-clockwise motion, Lawrence. It's Delosa that spins first, but how much work has he put in that front side before he's flipped onto the back? I reckon Lawrence put a little bit more work in. His, his, his axe got slightly caught in there. I reckon it's going to be O'Toole first. Oh, oh this is, is close. A dead heat, ladies and gents. The two greatest in the world right now going head-to-head. -head. Delosa is an absolute jet on the single buck. But Lawrence O'Toole, of course, is our reigning champion. Let's make some noise, Rose and Kilda. Who's going to take out this first heat? No it is close. Oh, it's Delosa. I think it's going to take it first. He is putting in a big statement here. But here comes O'Toole. Here we go. Big, powerful strokes, Dan. Clock just ticks over a minute as Brad DeLosa turns around to the backside. Lawrence O'Toole just a second behind him. Oh, it's going to be close. Who's put in more work? They're going to put the drivers in early. Oh! oh it's O'Toole by a fraction of a second. O'Toole goes whack, whack, whack. Please make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, for your world champion, Brayden Meyer, and the young Tasmanian superstar, of course, Dan Gurr. And it's Maya that gets to the wood first with the MS661. Oh, it's close. Boom. Oh, nice fast tight. start. Dan Gurr made up a lot of time there. Now, have a watch of the techniques here. They do have slightly different techniques. They, he does have a nickname, the, uh, the woodpecker. He has a, a short, sharp technique, and he does turn first. Maya showing why he is a world-class steel timber sports athlete. Dan Gurr, no slouch as well, of course. Two left-handers. And it, of course, is Maya that gets to the single buck first. Let's make some noise for him, guys. Cheer him on, the Victorian and the Tasmanian. Maya is just incredible the way he can get a huge power with those, those small strokes. You can see he's already on to the single buck there, powering through that wood. And that was one of the disciplines that it used to be a bit of a bit of a weakness for him, but he's really put a lot of work in on the single buck, and he's going to be setting a great time here. Yeah, so he's going to want to keep it in and around. If he can get it, guys, under a minute 10, that's going to be the fastest time of the day. Let's keep an eye on the clock here. Can he keep it under a minute 10? He's going to look to put the drivers in now. There, there it go. is. Bang, bang, bang. 
That is very close to the Australian record, ladies and gents. Only a couple seconds off the mark. It's certainly a personal best. Ladies and gentlemen, unofficially make some noise. Brayden Myers just done a personal best, but let's get around Dan Gurr. He's going to want to put a big time in here. He's going to make it through to the next round. Dan Gurr, if he gets under a minute 35, will set himself a He's personal best He's going to 100% well. set that. Look at that Let's go. cheer him home. Oh, get off. There it there goes. Is. A personal best for both our athletes on the stage. Over to two, Steve Lorenz. Both cuts were good. Can I please get a big round of applause as we welcome to the stage Chris Owen and the Tasmanian Cody Steers. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. They both get to the wood at the same time. Very, very close. MS661 Chainsaw. Whose cookie's going to drop first? Oh, it's Steers that takes a slight lead as he runs over. Unhand shot. Big, big, powerful strokes. They're going to look for you going in, of course, that, in that clockwise motion. The Tasmanian, big, big, powerful strokes there, Dan. What do you make so far of the guys spinning first? Steers. Look at that. They are just pacing each other perfectly, aren't they? Very, within a second... Onto the underhand chop and Ooh, then turning together. Ooh. Step off, but he, he's okay. He comes straight okay. back on there. No issues. He's going to go onto the single buck now. He's going to look to make sure he doesn't get any hang-ups because that is going to cost him time. That's it. It's all about long, smooth strokes on the misery whip to power through that block. Oh, hang up. There's a hang Two. up. That's what we're talking about. That can Ooh. cost you because you've got to get that momentum back up again, and that takes time. This is going to be a dead heat here, Oh, guys. this is close. Who's going to take it out? You've got Owen on one, Steers on stand two. Let's make some noise for him. St Kilda, let's get behind him. The axe has got slightly home. This must be a little bit trickier than wood. Steers turns first. Here we go. Owen, hot on his tail. He's going to have to play a bit of catch up here. He's going to need to put some big strokes in. You can see their arms are tiring. This is where they have to dig deep. He's actually got that wood out there quite well. He's just flicked that out. He's going to put the drivers oh. in, and there he goes. Big stroke to finish off, and there goes Owen as well. Good. Both cuts were good. Beautiful. Nice one. All right, and that was a PB for Chris Owen, the dad. From the Czech Republic, Martin Komarek, and from Tasmania, Matty Gay! Here we go. Lights ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one. And it's it, good to note that uh, Matt Gerr, of course, is an arborist, so he is constantly working with the steel uh, chainsaws, MS661. Oh, they Totally literally... synchronised, though, to the wood at the same time, off the wood at the same time. Komarek getting to the underhand chop just ahead of Gerr there. Going to be very interesting to see how a 105 overseas personal best beautiful fares spin. on the Aussie wood. 100%. Here, beautiful spin and turn by this the Czech superstar. Matt Gerr with a slight hang up there, of course, with his axe. But both looking to put in a really good time here. They want to be keeping it around the minute 10 to minute 20 mark if there's any chance to make it through. But, of course, it is Martin who makes it through onto the single buck. He's doing beautifully here. He's really looking to set a good time. He, he's got a, he, even though he's doing the pace setting, Gooch, he's got a bit of a statement to prove. But there's national pride at stake here. Yeah, as I said before, he is one of the best in the world. So he will want to prove that he is as good as the Australians. And he is setting a lightning fast time here. Oh there, oh, there it is. So he's keeping it in and around. He wants to get about that minute 10 mark to be pacing a good time and obviously making a statement. Matt Gurr, a little bit of work to do, but he's, he's still very much in the game here. Komarek has turned. It was a minute four on the clock. This is going to be a great time. Let's get behind him, ladies and gents. Here we go. Gurr Come on, secure to Melbourne. Let's get him. Block. Boom. There it is. A minute 14 for the, the Czech, Martin Komarek. Matty Gurr here wanting to put a big time in here. If there's any chance to make it through, of course, there's going to be the sudden death uh, after the top four. So he's going to want to put a good time in here. He's taking the big deep breaths in. It's a long day. You want to be pacing yourself throughout the competition, Lee. Yeah, you definitely do. Matty, he's come out here. And, you know, he's, he's competed in the series since we started. And he's still going now. And he's looking... Both cuts were good. All right, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome to the stage, please, ladies and gents, Brent Rees and David Ruma. Here we go. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. And they're off to the wood at the same time. Great start for both the athletes up there, Rees and Rumor. I'd say Rees slightly ahead. Oh, he's going to have to cut another one. That is going to send Rees back, but that's going to fire him up. Off he goes now. That cookie's going to be good. 
Bit of work to do now. It's all right. It's not over for the guy. Of course, we've got our sudden death, and he can look to put in a bit of catch-up here. This is the one good thing about this, of course, format having the four particular disciplines in it. So Brent Reeves with a lot of work to do, but if anyone can do it, it's him. He's turning nicely. So it's Dave Rumor who that's getting to the single bucket first, Dan and Lee. Who's going to put in the best time? It looks like Rumor at this stage has got a strong lead. He's going to have to have a few hang-ups if Reeves has any chance to come back and make it through. Yeah, Reese has go. got to really get a motor on on the single buck. It is now one of his strongest disciplines. You know, we are losing three athletes at the end of this, so he's got to make sure that he gets through. Dave Rumer, of course, is already heading over to Austria. He's our rookie champion, so uh, he's not looking to win this one. Otherwise, he'd have to do two competitions in a day, <laughs> but he's uh, up here for a good, good hit out. All righty, so Reeves with a bit of work to do. Dave Rumer looking nice and strong. He's going to turn around here. Looks like he's put about 10 hits in the front, give or take. All right, here they come. They're going to need to put in a good time here. If there's any chance, let's make some noise for them. St Kilda, Melbourne. Oh, it's not bad. 126, 5-1. I think that's going to be a PB potentially. All right, Reeves onto the back here. He's going to have to really dig deep here if he's got any chance to make it through. There it is. Give him a round of applause, guys. Both cuts Ooh, were good. Ooh, okay. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. Yeah, let's be please welcome to the stage Josh Bakes and Mitch Argent. Absolutely ready. Touche. And it's Argent that gets to the wood first. Oh, he's going to have to restart his saw, though. That's going to cost him some time. Will it affect things overall? I think he might be all right, but let's have a look. All right, he's got a bit of time to make up, but it is Mitch Argent, and he is a chopping superstar specialist. Here we go. Watch the boys. Let's make some noise for him. St Kilda, Melbourne. Yeah, a little like Mitch might have just uh, hit the off button as he went down to pick the saw up. So Dang, he's already he's made come it back, back, though. Oh, this is exciting stuff. The big left-handed Queenslander. He's going to be looking to make a statement. There it is through. Oh, off to the single buck. Bates with a bit of work to do. He's going to need to get a like, time. He wants to keep it in and around the minute 30 mark if he's going to any chance to make it through into the sudden death and or qualifying straight away. Arjun, here we go. Dan, thoughts? Just look at the pace on that single buck. I don't want to jinx him here, give him the commentator's curse, but he is absolutely powering through. About to cut oh, the cookie up. There, there it is. is. Not a single hang up. Here we go. This is the, he's one of the best in the world. And he's won multiple titles, world championship titles for the team on this exact discipline. This is the standing block. This is Mitch Argent. Josh Bakes on one. He's going to want to put a good time in here. Can he keep it around that minute? Needs 10 to mark? be under a minute 12. Who's going to get in that top four? Looks like he's just outside that. Oh. Tell you what, that chainsaw misfire at the start. It's going to be haunting. Next him. time we're looking at is we want to get Josh under 130 to see if he can get through into the next round. Can he do it? Get Drive behind him, everyone. In. Oh, oh. He's done it. Both cuts were good. All righty, there it is. Both guys are through. Let's fire it up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it a noise for the big two Queenslanders. Make some noise for Brody Dingle and James Head. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. Here we go, the Queenslanders in the last heat of the day. Both of them getting to the wood quickly. It looks like it's Head that's get to it first. Who's going to have the, the disc drop first? It is, of course, Jimmy Head. Nice, quick transition here. Brody Dingle is on closely on his hammer. As we said, they're going to look to go in that clockwise motion. Jimmy Head cutting beautifully. Look at the precision on those cuts. I'll, I'll give you the hot tip. It is a lot harder than it looks. Turning first is Dingle, though. Did he put enough work in that front side? Time will tell. Feel free to get behind them, ladies and gents. The two Queenslanders who are rounding out the time trials here today. All right, Jimmy, Jimmy Head, Head cuts now, through. Now, Jimmy Head, uh, many moons ago, actually was the Australian, did have to actually have the Australian uh, record for the single buck. I do believe, I think he took it off Shane Maxwell. We were up in Queensland a couple of years ago, looking to put in a really, really good time here. Nice solid by the two Queenslanders. He's going to be wanting to get in around that 110 mark if he's any chance to be getting through to our next round. All right, nice precision stuff there by Jimmy Head. But it actually is... Dingle that hits the wood first. The big left-hander. The two Queenslanders are really working through it here. Let's make some noise for him, St Kilda Melbourne. Let's get behind him. So the time they've got to look to get through is 1.30. Looks like he should be comfortable with both of them getting through.
Tell you what, Jimmy Head is blowing hard. He's going to really need to dig deep here if he's any chance to get under that minute 30 mark. You can see the timber starting to split and his dingle that comes from behind. Very, very impressive stuff. 1 minute 29. Jimmy Head with a little bit of work to do, but there he goes. 127.45. Give him a round of applause, please, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to fire things up very soon and hand it over to the judges for this first heat. Let's please get them on stage, Chris Owen and David Rumer. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Off they go, ladies and gents. Remember, this is an elimination heat, so it's Owen versus Rumer. Fastest man goes through. There to is the no second place here, is there, Dan? It's only first or home. They hit the wood at identical times Literally. Here. They are fighting for their life in this competition right now. Yeah, Dave's making some good work through there. Nice, clean cuts. But Chris has turned at exactly the same time there. Maybe Dave's just put a couple of extra hits on this side to make sure he gets it off early. We'll find out very shortly. All right, as they're coming up now, so they're going to look to put those drivers in form. It's Roma that gets into first. He's the single buck. Now, this is the one. This is the endurance. This is where they're really going to have to dig deep. Ooh. Owen and Roma, they don't want those hang-ups. They need to get the nice, nice, clean uh, cuts going, and they can't have the hang-ups, or they will lose time. And as we said, no second place. Yeah, part of the skill here is getting back to that single buck saw and getting up nice and clean. David just lifted the saw out there, which is, could happen to, to get the saw come out the top of the wood, but he's looking pretty good here. Big, big breaths here. Rumor is ahead, but Owen is a very, very strong standing block cutter. He's going to look to make... Let's make some noise for him, ladies and gentlemen. It's Rumor that turns first. It's the rookie champion. Can Owen come back? He's probably a couple of hits behind. He's going to put the drivers in. Who is going to take it out and be our first one through to the quarterfinals? Is it Rumor? Is it Owen? It's Rumor! What? The winner is Chris Owen. Wow. Dave had his glasses in his mouth when he started the saw. Oh, that hurts. Alrighty. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise and get him in here. Mitch Argent, the Queenslander, versus the Tasmanian Dan Kerr. Athletes ready? Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. Both gentlemen hit the, the wood first with the saws. Whose cookie's going to drop first? I think it might be Gurr. It is. But it's actually Argent that makes up the time here. They are both getting to the wood very, very quickly here. Look at that clockwise motion. They're going to look to put about 10 to 12 hits in the front, maybe less, depending on how much work. It's Argent that turns first. Lee, this is very exciting stuff. Yeah, Argent's definitely the bigger hitter when it comes to uh, the underhand chops. But Dan has just got to try and stay with him. Can he get it off within a couple of hits and see how he goes on the single buck? Argent, obviously, he wants to conserve as much energy as possible, but he needs a good time here if he's going to shake things up. Of course, coming to the final, it's now da da Dan Gurr, sorry, that's getting second place over to the single buck. Working through it beautifully is Argent. He's going to look to put in a really good time here. 49 seconds going to the last one. Let's make some noise for it. He wants to get this thing under 110 if he's going to make a statement to the rest of the competitors. Slight hang up there with the, the axe, but he's working through it beautifully. You can see a small knot there, Lee. Yeah, I think he might just take his foot off the gas now. I think he's uh, comfortably through here. Conserve his energy next in, into the next round because he's going to have to take on one of those big oh, guns. Clean strike at the end there. All right, let's keep the, the applause going for Dan Gurr, the Tasmanian. His PB is 130.17. Can he do it? Yes, he's broken his personal best as well by nearly five seconds. Fantastic work there, Lee. Thank you, Steve. Winner is Mitch Argent. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Queen's out to get through. Please make some noise for Jimmy Head and Brody Dingle. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. And they both get to the wood pretty much dead on. Yeah, Jimmy just had a slight hit on the um, on the chain break there, which is going to cost him a bit of time, which is why he's behind but he can make it up on the underhand, hopefully. Oh, it's very, very close. They're literally going at it hit for hit, stroke for stroke, blow for blow. Look at them go. Yeah, Brody just had a bit of a stick there. It means he, his angles weren't quite right, and he just had to pull the axe out, which has cost him, so Jimmy could catch him up here. Oh, it's, it, it really it didn't matter how much they put on that front side. They're going to put the drivers in now, and it's... Oh! They are neck and neck going to the single buck. This is where the endurance comes in. Jimmy's had a slight hang-up there. It's going to cost him a little bit of time. Will it be detrimental? We'll have to wait and see. 
Yeah, this is when it really starts to get, get hurting when you get onto this discipline. But you've got to run that sort as flat and straight as you can. Both guys just struggled at the start, but it looks like they're into their strokes now. Have a look at Jimmy Head. He's come from behind here, taking a little bit of time just to measure himself. They have literally hit the wood at the same time, going into the standing block. Which one of the Queensland's going to make it through? Which one wants it more? Make some noise for him, St Kilda. Yeah, it looks like Jimmy's got the better wood there, though. You can just see with Brody's angles on that block, he's just is spraying them a little bit around, which is going to cost him. Jimmy, though, is looking very good for Here this win. Here comes the drivers! One oh. stroke he has won that by. So, over to you, please. See the wrens. Winner is Jimmy Head. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Head through to the next round. Sorry, now, mate, fantastic stuff there. You had a, what, what, what I seem to think there in terms of watching, it looked like your single buck is where you really sort of came into your element. It was a really, really strong cut. How do you feel about it? Yeah, felt 10 times better that round. Uh, I uh, made a bit of a mistake, a uh, bad gear decision early on with the single buck. So I cut an awesome under and got in front of Brody in the first round and he caught me there. So I made a plan that changed the saw and made sure I tried to keep in front of him and just made lots of mistakes in the first one and I sorted nearly every one of them there so I'm really happy. Now talk me through, how, how's the wood today? Yeah, wood's good, real good so I can't complain. I, I've drawn four awesome logs so far. Um, you know, the, in the first round, like I said, I didn't cut the standard block real well but that probably come from uh, panicking a bit in the soaring so... Mate, it's always a pleasure to have you in the Steel Timber Sports Series. Good luck for the rest of the competition. Ladies and gentlemen from Queensland, Jimmy Head. All right, we're ready to go. Let's get this heat for underway. Welcome to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Steers and Josh Banks, the Tasmanian superstars. Athletes ready? Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Both quick, but it's Steers that gets to the wood first. Yeah, a little bit of hesitation there from Josh, which is going to see him a little bit behind. He gets the gear off and they should hit the block oh. at the same time. He, re he really made it up. He's actually just quite quick in the transition there. He's just that, that little bit of agility in terms of just that small sprint that is. And it's actually Bakes that turns first. He's taking it to the veteran here. Can Very the young similar. Tasmanian do it? Very similar cutting styles, don't they? Have They're almost uh, mirroring each other there. It's going to be fascinating to see who gets through the wood oh, first. And he steers, but they go. closely followed by Bakes. There's only oh, maybe a tenth of a second. Really good one. start on the saw there from Josh. Got it up and into action. Really shifting some wood. What? But we know Cody Steers is a master on the single buck. But looking like to me that Josh Bates He's is in the lead He's got a lot here. of work to do. Can the young Tasmanian do it? Feel free Steers to make some noise, has got a bit of work to do. Gents. Who's going to take it out? Is it going to be the, 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 sorry, the Tasmanian youngster or the Tassie veteran? They are turning together. Oh, oh no, it's a slip by Steers. It is all happening here. Make some noise, Rosa Kendall. Let's finish it off. Who wants it more? Which of the Tasmanians is going through? Bakes, Steers, Bakes, oh! it's Steers! Cody Steers does it by one hit. Winner is Cody Steers. Big congratulations to Josh Bakes. So that is an incredible improvement. Remember that name, ladies and gents. Gaz is with Cody Steers, the winner now. Cody, you're a, obviously a fantastic axeman. You just saw some of your breakdancing routines there, mate. Uh, it's probably not some of your better efforts. What, what happened there? Uh, yeah, I... Uh... Just slipped on a chip, eh? And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty slippery. Um, I've never done that before. I uh, don't particularly want to do it again. Um, I was pretty lucky to uh, recover and um, just get over the line there. So yeah, not not ideal, but um, worked out in the end. Over to the judges, and we're going to get the first heat. Heat number five in our quarterfinal right, underway. Scotty. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. And it's Maya that gets to the wood first. What a clean, clean cookie. Who's going to drop first? It's Maya. Here he goes. Over and he's got two hits on Chris on that underhand and you do not want to give him a hit at all because he is the underhand world record holder. There he goes, a little bit of a slow turn, but he, that's not going to matter too much because he is flying through the wood. Going to put the drivers in, wait for that wood to crack and he's going to be straight through. There he goes, onto the single buck. Solid time here. Meyer looking very, very poised. Owen with a lot of work to do. 
Yeah, Chris uh, got through there with the, with the DQ with David Rumer. And so he wasn't expected to get through into this round, but he's doing good. And if he can get that single buck saw running, he might catch him up. Maya is just cruising here, but his time is still quite good. 50 seconds going onto the last leg, conserving all that energy. The big bustling left-hander from Victoria. Let's make some noise for him, St Kilda Melbourne. Just real precision. He's just cruising here. He knows he's got this ghost. No rush on that one. Thanks, Braden. He's working through it beautifully here. Owen with a bit of work to do if he's going to catch the world champion. Drivers in and Maya takes it out comfortably. What a statement by the world champion. Let's make some noise. Keep it going for Owen when he finishes off his campaign here. He's been really solid all daily. Yeah, he definitely has. It's a fine line between taking your foot off the gas and finishing off strong there. We've seen in the past. Well done, Chris. What? Winner is Braden Meyer. Oh, there it is. Yeah, trying to save some energy just for the next rounds. Um, starts to get pretty tough now, so more the energy you can save, the better it is. So hopefully I've done that. Heat number two in the quarterfinals. Please make some noise for the Victorian Glenn Gillen and the Queenslander Mitch Argent. Give a big round of applause, please. St Kilda Melbourne. Athletes ready. Nice to the wood early here. Who's going to have it first? It's the Queensland. It is Argent first. Glasses first. off. But here is where both these guys Ooh. are incredible. A little bit, little bit of a hiccup there by Argent. Look, look how fast he is going there, the Victorian. But it's Argent that turns first, but hot on his heels. Yeah, a couple of little sticks there from Mitch. Think Glenn might come off with this slug just a little bit ahead of him. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, they are neck and neck. Make some noise for them, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to take it out? This is critical up. here. The single buck. We've had a hang up there from Gillum at the beginning, but it is absolutely crucial to get that saw flowing nice and evenly to avoid those hang ups that oh. can cost you. I'm going to say Argent time. is slightly in front. Oh, yeah. he's oh, had a hang up at the end there. The commentator oh, is stuck. But he's still got the head. Hang up for Gillum. Come on, guys. Let's get into him. Let's get him excited. That's what happens when you get to the, near the bottom there. You've really got to shorten up your stroke and oh. get through. But that is a lovely log that Mitch has wow. got. He's opened up there. Wait, wait till he puts the drivers in. Gillum turns now as well. He's puffing big. Can he do it? It is Argent that takes it out. Ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible, credible heat. That was a great, great heat there. Keep the applause up, ladies and gents, for Glenn Gillum as he works his way through. Put the drivers in now. There she goes. One more. Two more. There it is. Winner is Mitch Argent. All righty, nice work. Now, Mitch, unfortunately, mate, I gave you the commentator's curse and I said you were coasting through the single buck and then you had a little bit of a hang-up there, but you were able to get through. How did you feel? Oh, yeah. It's always a hard race, but feeling not too bad, so a couple more to go. How, how's the wood treating you so far? You look like you're getting through it quite well, getting a rhythm going. Sometimes it might be actually better to do the extra heat so you can get your rhythm going. Yeah, the wood's all right. I um, broke an axe in the first round, which is not ideal, so down to two, so touch wood and I don't break another one. All right, mate, congratulations. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, through to our next round, Mitch Argent, the big bustling Queenslander. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for Jimmy Head, the Queenslander, and the reigning, defending champion, Lawrence O'Toole. Lawrence, athletes ready. Stands to your timber. And they're off. It's head that slightly gets the wood first. But it's O'Toole who gets the cookie down first. They are neck and neck as they go here into the underhand. A little bit of a stick there from Lawrence, but that's because he's got such a big, long swing. But it looks like he might turn first here. And he does. Jimmy Head, a little bit of work to do, but he's right on his hammer. It's the Queenslander. It's the Victorian. Lawrence is look, looking to get it. There he goes. He's going into the single buck. But Jimmy is right on his head. Make some noise for a Melbourne. Here we go. Can the Victorian take it out or will the Queenslander spoil the party? Heard earlier on that Jimmy had the wrong saw in the time trial. Looks like he's got it cutting very nicely there. But I think Lawrence is just in the lead with that nice long stroke that we talked about. 
There it is going into the standing block. Can the big Victorian get through to the next round? Jimmy Head with a little bit of work to do to catch him. He's working through it. Look at the, the wood flying out of the block there. He's turning first, taking the big breaths in. O'Toole and Head on stand number two. Can the Victorian take it out? He's got a few strokes to put in. Drivers in now, bang! Lawrence O'Toole actually looked like he got quicker through that heat. Unbelievable work. Jamie Head just finishing off there, ladies and gents. Get behind. Winner is Lawrence O'Toole. All righty, Lawrence O'Toole takes it out. I'll have a quick chat with you before you, you pack up the access, mate. Mate, consistency seems to be uh, the, fla the flavour of the day. Just you moving through it nicely. How are you feeling out, there, out here? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, had a bit of trouble there. A couple of sticks on the underhand. It wasn't exactly nice, but... I have to improve on that, but everything else is going good. And how's the, how's the fitness? Obviously, you're a very, very fit uh, lad. You do a lot of training. How's the fitness feeling getting into the later stages of competition? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, mate. But the problem is some of these big boys are that fast, so, you know. Hopefully, I run up against them in the later rounds, not the early ones. Mate, congratulations. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, our reigning defending champion, Lawrence O'Toole. You could go. Please welcome to the stage, Brad DeLosa and Cody Steers. Cody, of course, coming second last year in the Champions Trophy. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. And they both get to the wood first. Very, very close. It looks like Steers is going to finish first. Oh, it's so close here. A little, little bit of a, a delay there, but they literally hit the wood at the same time. Delosa wow. on one, Steers on two. Who's going to take it out? Steers is ferocious. Had an unbelievable start, but Brad Delosa is the one to turn first. Closely followed by Cody Steers. Who's going to push through and make it onto the misery whip first? Oh, who's going to put the drivers in? Well, there it is. Brad it's Delosa. Delosa with a slight advantage, and he is an absolute, like, world class when it comes to the single buck. Yeah, but don't count out Cody Steers. He is number two on the single buck in Australia at the moment. And just look at the stroke rate that he's got going there. It's going to be really interesting to see. They really have different techniques. He's almost caught up to him here. I'd say Delosa still has a slight advantage. Steers with a bit of work to do. He's going to start two hits behind. So he's going to have to do a bit of work here. But Cody Steers is an absolute animal when it comes to the standing block. Can he make it back? It's Delosa that turns first. He hasn't put a whole lot of work in the front, though. So he's got a bit more work to do on the back. Can Steers pinch one here? This or will is it be, be Delosa? Close. Delosa! Steers! Delosa! It's Delosa! Delosa by two hits. Winner is Brad Delosa. Good news for both competitors, particularly for Brad Delosa. All righty, Brad. Always, always, get that one in here. Always nice to uh, to make it through to the next round. How's the body feeling? How's the wood? Yeah, wood was a little bit stronger that round, and uh, the body's starting to feel a little bit too. Well, you you are you are a spring. What are you? 22, 23 years old now? Yeah, 25 this year. Perfect. <laughs> okay, uh, talk, talk me through it. Yeah, it, was, it was quite a consistent run. Uh, you, you probably you feel that you can obviously go a lot faster. How are you feeling as you're moving through the competition? Yeah, I don't feel too bad. You know, I've been training a bit so. Hopefully I can build off that and go a little bit faster the next round. Mate, we look forward to seeing you in the next round. Ladies and gentlemen, world champion, Australian champion, Brad Delosa. Braden Meyer and Mitch Argent! Athletes ready! And they both hit the sword. Probably Meyer slightly ahead there, but they're both looking like getting through that wood very quickly. Oh, it's Argent that takes it slightly ahead. But they're going to hit the wood pretty much at the same. They are stroke for stroke, blow for blow, Lee. Yeah, Braden got a lovely first hit on that log. Just slapped out a bit at the front there, but they are neck and neck. Oh, this is absolutely power precision by the big bustling left-handers. Who is going to get the drivers through? Wait for the wood to break. Oh, it is Meyer slightly close. ahead. He is, is very so good close. on the single buck, Dan. This is so tight. Little stick there. We saw from uh, Mitch Argent, Braden Meyer just dropping through nicely. Argent seems to be hitting his straps here. It is all about the pace and the steady flow on the single buck as Braden Meyer gets to the bottom of the oh, log there. Oh, here he, he goes. saw it through. Mitch Argent not far behind. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're from Victoria, get around Braden Meyer. If you're Queenslanders, let's give it for Argent. He's got a bit of work to do. It's Meyer that turns first. It's Argent on two. Meyer on one. Who is going to take it out? They need to dig deep now. Last there two strokes. Meyer! 
It's Maya by two strokes. Braids, solid, very, very solid. The uh, It was interesting watching there. You, you probably had two uh, hits going ahead of Mitch. He came home. You knew he was coming. But how are you feeling, obviously, going into, into that last discipline? Yeah, Mitch is a road train. He comes in pretty hard. So I knew I'd put up my best performance. But we're into the final now, which is good. Time pretty good as well. Unofficially 106. That'll probably come down a little bit as well. That, that's, that, that's, that's in your wheelhouse. That's where you sort of want to be. But you know you've got to get a few more seconds off if you, if you obviously want to take out either Delosa or O'Toole. Oh, yeah, this is it. Leave nothing than taking this last one and try and get the win for the family and everyone here. Oh. Mate, it's an absolute pleasure. You're an excitement machine. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, absolute champion, world champion, Australian champion, Braden Meyer, everybody. The new dad. Oh. All right, we're good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please give a big round of applause for our semi final athletes, Brad DeLosa, sorry, Brad DeLosa, and our reigning defending champion from Victoria, Lawrence O'Toole. Oh. Athletes ready? And it's Delosa that gets the wood first. Got a slight lead, but O'Toole very closely hot on his hammer with the steel MS661 source. It's actually O'Toole Whoa. that comes through. That was the same, Gaz. I could not split them there. I think Delosa, did Delosa just get to the wood yes, first Yes, he then? did. Looks like he's probably, he's probably a stroke ahead, I'd say, Lee, at this stage. Yeah, looks like Lawrence is in the lead there. Oh! oh. Turning together. This, this is like synchronized wood chopping here. Cutting beautifully, both guys. Who's going to get through the wood first? Delosa. It's Delosa, but it's O'Toole that makes it up with a quick little skip there. And they're now onto the single buck. Both very good single buckers, Lee. Yeah, both got the saws going very well there. You can see Delosa with those shorter, sharp uh, shorter strokes. And then Lawrence with his real long, long strokes. Both coming through that log nicely. Oh. It's going to be neck and neck onto the standing block. Delosa has one hit in front of O'Toole, but here comes the reigning champion. Who's going to take it out? Is it going to be the veteran Delosa, or oh, is it going to be the Delosa reigning champion? O'Toole, make some noise, please, to Kilda. Come on! Who's going to get through? Delosa, is it O'Toole. O'Toole? Delosa! Oh, you are kidding me! Oh, who was that? The winner is Brad. Oh, I mean, sorry, Lawrence. Oh, oh <laughs> Jesus. Give it one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Come here. Lawrence, it doesn't get any tighter than that, mate. Did, obviously, it's hard to know where you are in hitting. Did you think you'd had the win or you just didn't know? I was pretty confident until he almost announced Miss Universe as the winner there, but I didn't think I was that good looking, guys. <laughs> no, mate, but that was, that was without doubt one of the most exciting uh, finals I've ever seen there. You, had, you, you actually were two hits behind, so you knew you had to come through it. Did you put the drivers in early? What was the strategy going through? I knew I was behind, but I sort of, I was a bit worried. Um, I shortcut the back because that's why I had to go for it. I was just lucky it come off, you know? Mate, I'll tell you what, guys, let's give a big round of applause. He's our reigning defending champion, and he's through to another final. Ladies and gentlemen, your defending champion, Lawrence O'Toole! <laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen, still Timber Sports. It's the small final time. Can you please make some noise for Brad DeLosa and Mitch Hutchins? Here we go, Queensland v New South Wales. Athletes ready? Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. And it's Arjun that gets to the wood first. Can Delosa make up that time? Five hours of work today all comes down to this. This is the battle for third place, ladies and gents. The small final. They both get to the wood first, but it's Arjun who hits the wood first with the axe. Delosa, he is an absolute powerhouse up there. That height giving him a real advantage. Huge strokes. They turn at the same time, Gaz Kempster. It is powerful. It is strong. It is still Timber Sports, the original extreme sport. Who is going to cut through the wood first? Going to put those drivers in and take it over to the single buck. It's Arjun that goes. Delosa, but this is where he is world class, Lee. Yeah, he's the uh, Australian record holder in the single buck. And he is going to look to get ahead of Mitch Arden there. And he is flying through that log very nicely. Mitch Argent, no slouch either. I reckon it is neck and out. I reckon Argent might slightly be ahead. It is. It is. It's Argent. It it's going to be hard to catch him He's now. one stroke ahead of Delosa. They Here we go. through the standing block. Here we go. It is Argent. This is for third place, ladies Argent and gentlemen. Argent turns. Argent turns first. Delosa with a lot of work to do. He's taking the deep breaths in. It looks like Mitch Argent is going to take it. Will he take it? Oh. Yes, he takes it. What a standing block. 
I didn't count them, but that looked like six hits on the back there for Arjun. Delosa finishes off there as well, ladies and gents. Arjun, he's going to be very, very close to his BB here, just outside. Winner was Mitch Arjun. There it is, Mitch Arjun. Big grand. Congratulations for Brad Delosa there as well, though. An absolute contender. As Mitch, per Mitch, usual. it's been a long day, mate. You've, you've, cut, you've actually cut more than anyone else here today. In terms of you, you've, you've, had a, you've had a solid day. Good way to finish. Uh, well, obviously, a great turnout here. How are you feeling? Yeah, probably not the best starts, but um, come home and made it on the podium, so feeling pretty good. Just like thank everyone for coming out and supporting us too. Yeah, thank you guys. Fantastic work. Now, now, now talk, talk me through there. We obviously, we were watching the, we, we thought in the single buck, that's obviously where Delosa, probably his, his strongest discipline, but you, you held your own there and you actually finished in front of him. You must have been really happy and feeling confident going into the standing block. Yeah, I knew if I could sort of keep with him to the standing block, I'd sort of go pretty well. It's sort of my favourite discipline, so yeah, that was my plan. Mate, you were fantastic. You've, you've, uh, you've entertained everyone here today. We can't thank you enough. Ladies and gentlemen, Mitch Argent. Hello. Please welcome for your grand final the reigning defending champion, Lawrence O'Toole, and the world champion, Brayden Mayer! The two best in the world right now, and it has come down to this. There are no more appropriate men to be on the stage than Brayden Meyer and Lawrence O'Toole. Here we go! Here we go. Five, two, one, go. Maya V O'Toole to the wood simultaneously. It is nice. It is thick and fast. Whose cookie's going to drop first? Oh, oh it's, it's identical. They are neck and neck. Braden Meyer did tell us before he was going to leave everything out on this stage. Nothing left in the tank. It all comes down to this. Still timber spots. Maya turns first. What are we looking at, Dan? Oh, we are looking at two competitors giving it absolutely everything they can. Little hang up there, little stick in the wood there from O'Toole. A second one, O'Toole is through just behind Meyer. They rush over to the single buck. He's probably got, he's probably given, Lee, I'd say he's got a little bit of an advantage, but look at Lawrence O'Toole, those long strokes. We've spoken about this all day. Oh, there he goes. Meyer's still in a slight lead, but here comes O'Toole, the defending champion. He's probably taking the lead. He's cool. He's going to drop first. Oh, Whoa! here it is. It this all comes it. down to this. Get behind them, ladies and gents. This is it. Swing for swing. Blow for blow. Still timber spots. This is grand final time. Meyer turns. O'Toole, O'Toole behind. hot on his tail. They're going through it. Who's going to take it? Is it Meyer? Oh, it's O'Toole again. Lawrence O'Toole has done it again. One of the great standing block performances. He's done it two years in a row. I didn't think anyone would be able to beat his performance from last round. He has topped his own performance on the standing block. That is unbelievable. Braden Meyer, big congratulations to him too, ladies and gents. Look at that time from Lawrence O'Toole unofficially at one minute five. That is two seconds outside the Australian record. The winner is Lawrence O'Toole. Oh. We'll, have a chat. we'll have a chat to Braids there quickly, mate. Mate, incredible cut. It just looked like on the, on the backside, they only put probably three hits in. So just, just the way the timber falls. Yeah, I see, that's a good job, mate. But uh, anyway, great day down at St Kilda. And um, pleasure to be here. Mate, absolute pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, second place, absolute superstar of the sport, Braden Meyer. I'm starting to get sick of interviewing on these stages, the big stages, mate. You are doing really well. The first question I've got is, how many hits did you put in the back? We were trying to count at the back there. We thought it was only maybe four hits. Yeah, no, four. I can't do eight and four. But you, must, you must be happy there. You, it was neck and neck going into it. You knew you had to pull out the big guns in that last one, but left it all on the line, and here we are. Yeah, Braden's a freak, like chopping, so I couldn't give him a head start. He got off the underhand before me and had to really single back well, but I didn't think I'd be able to win today. He's on fire all day, credit to him, so... Really happy, and uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out, Still Australia, and uh, all the helpers here. It's a great event, and uh, Timber Sports, thank you. Mate, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, your 2020 Australian champion. Give it up one more time. Lawrence O'Toole, everybody.